Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Barkey Software Knowledge Tutorials. So in this video, we will discuss about color coding for other anterior segment lesions. In the previous video, I have discussed about the color coding system for the corneal lesions. Okay, so other than the corneal lesions, like the conjunctiva lesions or the lid lesions or the iris lesions. So in this video, we will discuss about how to color code for all these other anterior segment lesions. Okay. If you have not visited my previous video, please do watch the previous video on color coding of the cornea so that you will have the overall idea about the color coding system. Then you can watch this video on anterior segment lesions. Okay. So without much delay, let's begin our video. So whenever you want to represent anterior segment lesions, again you have to represent like under the diffuse illumination how it looks, under the slit illumination how it looks. Okay. So this is the diffuse illumination picture. So this is representing the eyelid margin okay and this is the cornea and this is pp so by using black color you can outline the lids okay you can represent the beaded spots on the conjunctiva by using black color and even the eyelashes are marked with the black color and whenever you want to show the intraocular lens that is artificial intraocular lens then you have to represent it with the black color this eye wall can be better shown with a slit diagram okay or the oblique illumination diagram i will show it later so the black color other than the corneal lesions to outline the lids to represent the better spots eyelashes and intraocular lens next coming to the brown color it is used to represent the nevus okay so the nevus can be marked like the conjunctival nevus Sorry, even the nevus or the eyelids can be marked with a brown color. Iris nodules can be represented with the brown color, and even the iris attachment, that is the sinica, can be shown with brown color. That is better shown with a slit examination. By using yellow color, you can mark the pingucula, the concretions over the eyelids. So, whenever you want to show the eyelids, the skin surface can be shown like this. Okay, so can mark like this show the eyelashes here and this is the skin surface of the eyelid and if you want to show the conjunctival side of the eye that is the averted eyelid then you can represent it like this okay name just which eye right eye or the left eye this is the upper lid and the lower lid okay so with the yellow color you can show the concretions over the conjunctival side of the lid even the cataract can be shown with the yellow color and the trantus spots which are seen in your vernal keratoconjunctivitis can be shown with yellow color so yellow color represents pingucula, concretions in the eyelids, cataractus lens as well as the trantus parts. And you can use the red color to represent papillae and follicle again over the everted part of the eyelid. So show the papillae or the follicle with this and even the granuloma can be shown with the red color like foreign body granuloma and the pterygium okay. So the pterygium can be shown with the red color, subconjunctival hemorrhage wherever it is there just shade the area that represents the subconjunctival hemorrhage the lacerated area over the eyelid so the outline of the lacerated wound can be shown with the black color and the lacerated area inside can be shown with the red color okay so this is over the conjunctival side when you want to represent it over the skin side just mark the area show the eyelashes so if there is a lacerated wound here you can show it with a black outline and then fill the area with a red color that represents the lacerated wound the telangiectatic vessels or the conjunctiva can be shown with the red color the rubiosis iridis which are shown as irregular vessels around the pupil the ghost vessel which are shown as the dotted red line okay so this red dotted line represents the ghost vessel the hyphema can be shown with the red that will be shown in the slit section so to summarize the red color you can use to represent papilla and the follicle the granulomas pterygium subconjunctival hemorrhage the lacerated area or the eyelids the telangiectatic vessels or the conjunctiva rubiosis iridis as well as the ghost vessels and the hyphema so along with the diffuse illumination examination of the anterior segment also show the oblique or the slit examination okay so again in this picture you can see this is the cornea that is the epithelium this is the stromal part and this is the endothelium okay and the iris is represented in the brown color so you can show the intraocular lens in the black as i told so you can write the intraocular lens like this 
with the optic and the haptic and show it in the black color or you can also show the hypopia that is the collection of the pus in the anterior chamber with the yellow color just write in the anterior chamber that is hypopia you can also use red color and represent in the similar way to show the hyphema okay and whenever you want to show the cyniche that is adhesion between the iris and the lens or the iris and the cornea you can use the brown color if there is anterior cyniche you can show the attachment of this iris to the cornea and if there is posterior cyniche say suppose there was a cataractus lens here and you appreciated cyniche then you should show it like the iris is getting attached to the lens okay so this represents the cyniche so in the slit examination you can represent the intraocular lens hyphema hypopnea the cyniche that is anterior and posterior cyniche as well as the rubiosis iridis so here also you can show rubiosis iridis that is vessels in the iris okay so this is about the color coding system for other anterior segment lesions so combine both the videos on the corneal lesions as well as the anterior segment lesions so that you will be able to draw the complete picture of the anterior segment lesions with a color coding system so hope this video on the color coding system is helpful to all of you if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon for further notifications and please do like and share my videos and leave your valuable comments in the comment section thank you so much Thank you.